Hi guys, today I'm going to be duplicating and casting a truck, or actually a Cherokee Jeep key. This is a spare key that I've been needing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make a two-part mold. For this, I will be uh, wax injecting into this mold. I'm using an acrylic hinged box here. I'm not sure of the size, but I'm sure you guys have all seen these boxes. Quite available. And um, I think they make really good mold boxes. I could make this into, or I could do this with a single mold, open, pour mold, but I would have to tear the mold up to get the key out. So uh, it'll take a little extra time and uh, make a two part mold in case I want to refer back to it. So, what I've been concentrating on is making sure that the key is straight here, parallel with the uh, bottom the box you can see a little support there so it looks pretty good I'm going to go ahead and get the mold release and give it a spray and then mix up the uh, duplicating material The mold material is now set up, so now I'm going to key the two parts together.
Okay, you can see here I didn't have quite enough material. I've really scraped the bottom just to get what I have here. What I was hoping to do is have the material come out of each of the corner holes as well as the center and lock the top of the acrylic box to the material. So I'm going to still continue to work with this and I think we're going to be okay after all. Okay, the rubber is still a little sticky, but I'm going to have to separate this. I'm going to have to get my key out. I have to leave. So, it's going to be a little premature. Here's a look at three of the keys that I've injected. I think they turned out pretty good. On the back side there's some micro bubbles, um, some Bubbles like uh, you see here that uh, I'm not concerned about. There are some little convex bubbles here that I can pop off. That's not a big deal at all. I definitely want to get rid of those. But the little uh, concavities you see here, I'm not uh, concerned about that at all. So I'm going to use one of these. I'm actually going to cast one of these keys because um, I do need a spare. I've locked myself out now a couple of times in the last six months. So uh, one of these is going to actually go in my wallet. So I'm going to pick out the best one here and cast that. And I'm going to make another video for that, guys. Um, I guess you could call it part two. Uh, I'm going to uh, sprue one of these 
Um, I'm going to remove a lot of this bulk here that I'm not going to need, so I don't even have to bother casting that. But uh, yeah, I'm going to sprue one of these, invest it, and cast it. Uh, so uh, that will be part two, another video. So if you're interested in that, make sure that you stay tuned and look out for that video. Um, guess that's it, guys. Um, let me let you look at the mold here. Yeah, you see the bubbles here. I should have uh, vibrated the material before I poured it, and that would have collapsed um, these bubbles. See this bubble here, and that actually showed, shows up on every one of these right there. So, uh, yeah, I'll pick that off. That's not a big deal. But uh, thanks, guys, for watching. And if you're, again, if you're interested, make sure that you uh, stay tuned for, uh, or look for uh, the second video on um, sprueing, investing, and casting.